Let's take a tour through some of the hyper-productivity features of CLine. Now imagine we're coding up the knapsack algorithm. We can make light work of these for loops using the bundled live templates. Now we need to assign a value to the current cell in this array, but we need to do it in different ways. While it's easy to wrap a statement in an if-else, as well as several other surrounds with templates, we're out breaking out of our flow. Now let's do the else branch. And here we're seeing red because we've used std max without including its header. And which header is it anyway? Well, alt enter or option enter not only tells us that it's algorithm, but we'll even write the include for us without us ever leaving the line that we're on. Now this branch is getting a bit more complicated with lots of repetition. Well, we'll sort that out in a moment. But first, even this is conditional, so let's wrap that again. And now that's the final branch, so let's look back at that repetition. We see this expression here several times. So we can extract that as a variable. And similarly with this weight one that appears twice. We might want to do the same with value for symmetry, but actually that's our complete algorithm, written at lightning speed by making CLine do a lot of the work for us. Let's go back and look more closely at live templates, which we can find in the settings. These three bundle templates expand to common for loops, like the one we just used, as well as range-based or iterator-based loops. But we can add our own. For example, to make a quick way to get the size of a C array, we can use this pattern. But how did the for loop template fill out our loop variable? Well, if you click on edit variables, we can see that some template variables are mapped to internal functions, which give us useful results, like suggesting an index name here. If we go back to the iterator for, we see this right side type, which deduces the type from the right hand side of the expression. Or we can let auto do the work. So consult the docs page on live template variables for all the things you can do with this powerful feature. Now, going back to the code, CLine can tell you immediately if there are problems or potential problems with your code with its powerful inspections. These come from both Clang Tidy as well as CLine's own internal analysis engine. In many cases, it will also offer a quick fix. So commit Alt Enter or Option Enter to your muscle memory because it can fix or write a lot of code for you. Remember, we used it earlier to add an include. Now we can easily comment out blocks of code with a single shortcut and uncomment them just as easily. But what if we wanted to change all of these equals operators to less than or equal? Well, we could do a search and replace, but that can be fiddly. A more direct way is to use column selection mode to give us multiple cursors. Of course, if we do want find and replace features, well, let's look at a larger code base. We can find and replace in a single file, of course. But it's when you do find in path or replace in path that you really get the benefit of CLine's indexing to give you immediate results. Because of that index and understanding of the code, we can do more structural searches. Search everywhere is your gateway to this. And either from there or with its own shortcut, find action will even search CLine itself for menu items and shortcuts. So if you don't remember a shortcut, you can still get to an action quickly this way or if it doesn't already have a shortcut, you can assign one here. This local history, by the way, is a great way to get many of the benefits of version control without ever having to do version control. Think of it as undo on steroids. So that's just some of the features CLine offers that can give you an edge in highly productive coding.